As 2021 is about to be over in couple of days, how did various cryptocurrencies perform in 2021? What were the top 10 cryptocurrencies in 2021? Well, I don't have any idea about that. I have zero knowledge on cryptocurrencies to be very honest. But why are we discussing this? Well, we are discussing something related to cryptocurrency but not exactly this topic. I'll be talking about something which makes sense to this channel which is related to data science and analytics. Well, cryptocurrency and data science and analytics, what's the relationship? Well, I'll be talking about data scraping, we'll be talking about cryptocurrency scraping. In this video, we shall be learning how to scrape cryptocurrency data and once you scrape it, our follow up videos will be about their analysis and dashboard creations in Power BI and Tableau. In this video, we shall be focused on the data scraping part. Let's get started. So we'll get started with the coding part. So in this uh, code, we have uh, imported some of the libraries, NumPy, Pandas, which are the basic ones. And I've also imported requests. Our main aim is to identify the top 20 cryptocurrencies. So what we have done is we have randomly selected what we feel, what are the top 20 cryptocurrencies and we have created a list out of it. So Bitcoins, Ethereum, XRP, ADA, honestly speaking, I don't know much of them. Like I just know few of these cryptocurrencies. I have zero knowledge on cryptocurrency, but anyways, people who are experienced they will be able to identify what these coins are all about my main task was to create a list of all the coins and uh, for each type of coin i'm going to use some of the apis some of the rest apis and using that api call i will be extracting the data so i'm using coindesk api in this uh, video so we'll be showing you the api link as well i've created a data frame pandas.dataframe here for each coin in the coin list, so whichever list we have defined here, for each coin, I have defined the date. As the date was the data was huge when I tried to scrape for a month, uh, it was taking a lot of time. So just for demo purpose, I am doing one day scraping. So from first July 2021 till second July 2021. While length of data frame is greater than zero. If this equals to this break so here I'm using this API for scraping production.api.coindesk coindesk is one of the websites and it is, uh, it, is it has also made uh, his its API public so you can use their API's to scrape data as well and here I'm passing the coin and I'm passing the start date and the end date and I'm able to extract the data okay here we are using the request to fetch data from the API in the JSON format and then storing it into the database. Okay. Temp data equals to request dot get URL dot JSON where I don't have to explain each and every line of code and I'm extracting all this information timestamp, open, high, low and close. In order to handle the missing values, what I have done is I have created a list NP of man. In numerous occasions, I observed that Coindesk did not collect every minute of data. According to observation, in a normal circumstance, the timestamp would have a discrepancy value of 60,000 for one minute. As a result, I can quickly tell that missing period is the time gap if the row difference for the timestamp is larger than 60,000. To deal with it, a hot deck imputation procedure is used here. To put it in another way, the nearest minute data will be substituted for the missing value. For an example, you have one minute of data, next one, one minute data you don't have. So your nearest data will be imputed as the missing value. And then I have this logic here and here I'm extracting the data and then storing it in my data frame. So I'll not be running this code because I have already run it. It hardly takes five minutes, under five minutes to run for uh, one day of data so you can imagine how much time it will take for at least a month's data so repeat this process in order to capture more and more data 
and here i am just capturing this information symbol open high low and close and then simply i am storing it into a csv file you can see this is my csv file so let me open my csv file to let you know how it looks like just give me a second so this is the script data you can see date time symbol open all these values from 1st july till 2nd july for multiple coins in case you want to check you can do that you check like this filter you can see for all the coins that we have passed i am able to get the details ada bitcoins all these things are available so that's all about this particular application uh take this code i will also be leaving the code in the description below use this code to extract data as much as possible and then try out by yourself and do some uh, ed analysis or do some time series forecasting on this data in our next video we shall be coming up with some of the like once we have the data our next step is to perform eda and create dashboards right that's what data analytics is all about so I'll not have a immediate video but down the line after a couple of days I'll also be uploading one of the end to end power bi and tableau projects related related to cryptocurrency very soon so stay tuned and in case you have any questions leave a comment in the comment section below what do you think about this project and uh, yeah in case you have anything in mind if you want to scrape some data from flipkart or amazon and then start uh, want to start data analysis feel free data scraping is free for educational purpose of course you cannot create a startup out of it but for education purpose for practicing everything is legal so just try it out that's it from my side if you like my videos please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notified on my future videos thank you